Today we're taking a look at the brand new Whitetail Legend Pro from Bear Archery. Welcome back to Mike's Archery's YouTube and we are taking a look at the brand new 2022 lineup from Bear Archery and we are looking at the brand new Whitetail Legend Pro today. Now the specs on this bow are coming in at 339 feet per second with an axle to axle of 30 inches. So they've kept that short axle to axle on this bow. And it's, this is kind of a upgraded version of last year's Whitetail Legend. The brace height on this bow is six and a quarter inches. And it's falling right there in that middle range of what most bows are. It's not an exceptionally short brace height, but it's certainly not one of the longer brace heights either. They're getting a little more speed out of this bow because of that, but it's not causing too much critical shooting out of it. It's still a fairly forgiving shooting bow, even though it is 30 inches axle to axle. Now the factory spec weight on this bow is coming in at 3.8 pounds. And we did throw it on the scale with everything on it out of the box at 4.2 pounds. Now we pulled the limb dampeners out of it and things and got it down to four point even. So it's fairly close to that advertised weight at 3.8. It's a little over, but not a whole lot. Since this bow did not come with an RTH package and it is just a bow only, that is all that we have. We, don't, we didn't need to weight that back up with all the accessories, but just realize that when you get this bow and you start outfitting it with whatever accessories you choose to put on it, it is gonna beef that up. You're probably gonna be in that probably eight pound range, give or take with a fully loaded quiver and everything. Now the bow does come in two draw weight options. Just like most of the bear lineup, it has got that 15 pound draw range and you can take a 70 pound bow and take it all the way down to 55. Or you can order that lighter weight at a 60 pound max and take it down to 45 pounds on the low end of that draw weight range. Now since the Whitetail Legend Pro is an upgrade from last year's standard Whitetail Legend, the big change is the cam system. They went with the EKO cam system that they've had for the last couple years on most of their flagship bows all the way down to the Divergent EKO for last year. So with that cam system, it gives you a lot of adjustability. And that is the real nice part about that EKO system. It's a nice, smooth, good feeling cam. You're able to adjust the draw length on this bow from 26 inches on the low end out to 30 inches on the high end. So giving quite a bit of adjustability. But the nice part about that EKO cam is not only the draw length adjustability, it's also the let off adjustability. So if you're that guy that likes a little heavier weight, you can put that on a 75% let off and keep a lot of back wall weight to where you can get off the string pretty heavy and also get a little more speed out of this bow. Now, if you take it all the way out to that 90% let off, you're gonna have a great feeling bow that comes all the way over and you're gonna be able to hold that thing all day long in a blind or a tree stand because you're probably only gonna be holding somewhere between six or seven pounds at full draw. Now you can adjust it in between there at 80 and 85% if you want to. And like I said, that is the beauty of this cam is the sheer adjustability to get all those options on one cam system, no press needed, just the ability to move those things around uh, with just a standard set of Allen wrenches and get it to the comfort level and the feel that you want to. Now I will say with the EKO cam, you're gonna to wanna to break out the manual if you get to messing around with the draw length. It's not quite as simple as most cams are. It takes a little bit of looking into as to far as where you need all those draw stop pegs as well as the module. It's a little more complicated than just putting it on a number seven. So just make sure you're using that manual if you get to move in the draw length on your own. The VRS vibration reduction system, you're gonna see that on most all their models coming in with these new limb dampeners, the killer wave limb dampener system. It's taking some noise and vibration out of the bow. Now part of that vibration reduction system, they're claiming that it is taking another 25% more vibration out of this bow than it has in the past. So that's quite a bit of vibration reduction and that is reflected in the feel of this bow when you shoot it. For a midline bow, it's got a great feel to it. Now the other things that we noticed on this bow, the single string stop that's been there for years, obviously helping take some noise and, and vibration out of that shot but they also continued and put aluminum limb pockets on most of their midline bows, and this is no different with the Whitetail Legend Pro. When you get to some of these lower priced bows with most companies, you're seeing them put some type of polymer or plastic limb pocket in them, but Bear has stepped up their game across the board, and the Whitetail Legend Pro also comes with an aluminum limb pocket. And they kept a slim grip design for this year, and it's just still a good feel in your hand. If you like that you know, just a slim grip that's not going to allow a lot of torque. They've rounded the edges on that. And it's just going to be a good fit in your hand to just sit right there in that crease in the palm of your hand where you need it to be. Also with the EKO system, you have that ability to leave it 
add a cable stop system or you can add that limb stop system to this cam. So if you want that rock hard solid back wall, you can throw a limb stop on this bow and get a little more solid back wall than what you see with the cable stops. Now if you like a little bit of cushiness there, it's still pretty solid with the cable stops, but you can definitely get it a little more solid with those limb stops. Bear continues with the double rest hole in the riser, which is nice if you have a rest that will accommodate that. Just allows you to lock it down with an extra rest bolt, knowing that that rest will never move uh, and slide in some way, shape, or form when you're in the field. Now the bow does come in several cool colors for this year. Since it is the Whitetail Legend, they kept with that theme and used several of the Fred Bear throwback colors. You can get this bow in a complete Fred Bear camo pattern that they came up with last year, or you can get it in that throwback black, which is what we have here as our sample model, or you can get it in the throwback green, which is available in a few models for last year. Now they did come with a new camo pattern on this bow, and it is the Veil Whitetail. It's also a good looking camo pattern if you want something that's a little different from what you're seeing from most of your real tree and mossy oak patterns. You can get it in a couple solid colors with olive and iron as well, and it is available in both right and left hands. So you lefty guys are gonna be able to pick this bow up and still get all the cool colors available to you. Price point on this bow coming in at $559 on the MSRP puts it right there in that midline. Now remember, that is a bow only. Now we're used to seeing a lot of Fred Bear stuff coming to you at a RTH package. This is not one of them because it is in that Pro Series and that Legend Series of bows. They did this as a stripped down bow and you're gonna need to outfit it at that price. So just keep that in mind when you see that you're gonna have a few more dollars in getting this bow completely ready to go in the field with you. From here, we're gonna step over to the lane, take a few shots out of it, see how it performs as far as speed, noise rating, and just overall feel of the bow. As usual, we'll be using that 400 grain arrow just as a baseline for you at 29 inches and shooting it on 70 pounds at 85% let off. We stepped over here to the lane and we're gonna take a couple shots out of this bow and just kind of see what numbers it posts up for speed as well as noise rating. And as always, we're gonna be shooting our 400 grain arrow. We're gonna shoot this bow at 70 pounds with 85% let off at 29 inches. So let's take a couple shots and just see how it does. All right, so as far as speed, it's coming in at 299. We've tried to get it to break 300 just because it sounds better, but we just can't get it there. We've been hovering right there at that top 290s, 298, 299 uh, speed range. So frankly, for what I would consider a mid-range bow, uh, putting up some really good numbers at 299. And as far as the noise rating, it's at 97.1 decibels, which is really fairly quiet. So for a midline bow, this thing is performing really well with the speed and also even on the noise rating. Now, as far as the shot, this being the EKO cam, just remember you've got some adjustment there that you're gonna be able to get a few more feet per second if you took this down to 75% let off and you're gonna lose a few feet if you take it out to 90, but you're gonna be you know, holding only about seven pounds if you're shooting this thing on max weight. The draw cycle on this cam feels really good. The EKO cam has felt really good over the last few years and putting it on this Whitetail Legend platform doesn't really change that at all. You do feel a little bit of drop off at the back end at full draw, but that again is gonna depend on what let off you have this set on. And at 85, you do feel it kind of drop in there, but it's got a nice solid back wall, even with the cable stops. And when you put that limb stop on here, if you want that option, it's gonna be even more rock solid. So overall, just a really good feeling shot. And it's very dead in the hand. Um, for a midline bow, I would put it right there with anything on the market and just a really great feeling bow. So if the Whitetail Legend Pro is something you're looking for, give us a call here at Mike's Archer and we'll get you set up with one.